Hello, I'm Kelly Thompson-Clark. I'm the President and CEO of the Cambridge Chamber of Commerce in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We're the third largest chamber in Massachusetts, and of course Cambridge is known not only as the birthplace of democracy, but current day it is the Mecca for Life Sciences Technology, and of course the home to two of the world's leading research institutions, Harvard and MIT. We're blessed in Cambridge. We have over 1,500 members that support our chamber, support the community, and like to give back. My first thought about Chamber Mail was that it was obviously going to be some way to reach out to our members within the community. Of course, I didn't think that it was going to be something that was so directed or targeted, which is something I think that Chambers have a hard time with, because we always think about you need to serve everybody, you need to let everybody have a piece of the pie. But in these days and times, it's important to have partnerships, to be targeted, and have a very strategic approach on how you reach out to your members and give them opportunity for exposure. Right. Having just completed our first round of the Chamber Mail program, we were thrilled and very excited to see that it was not only an easy approach for our members, but an easy sale for the Chamber. They were open to the progress that our reps made. Not only was the process easy for our members, but it was a smooth transition for the Chamber. Working with our reps from Chamber Mail was not only a professional experience, but it was easy to deal with and they were always great at updating us on anything that we needed to take care of for our members and with our members. But we have learned through this process that the renewal will be very easy for us to pick up and to handle the renewal ourselves. Uh, not only will it garner us, I think, more saturation within our membership because we have people that are already on a waiting list wanting to get involved in the next ones. We already have people that are on a waiting list to renew in the current program. So this could maybe even mean a larger mailer. It could mean multiple mailers as we go into the second program of, the, of this particular uh, chamber mail project. Mail. The feedback that we've received from our members has been nothing but terrific. They have been very happy with the process. They feel that the approach was very open and honest and direct. They feel that the outcomes were predictable. They feel that the targeted market that this particular mailing program was going for at the current time was exactly what they were looking for. That niche market is really something that they had never had the opportunity to be exposed to. It was always part of a, a grander scheme or a larger project. So they really liked to have the ability to be able to to just target the, that particular aspect of the market. And it, I think that those numbers also helped them realize that they individually have a specific market in new residents, residential people, people moving to an area, people thinking about moving to an area. That, that really is a market that they need to reach out to above and beyond their everyday clientele. We realized that there were people within our database, as all chambers do, um, they have people that have slipped through the cracks, they have people that maybe have been less involved, and this has given them another outlet to be involved in the chamber, because not everybody can participate in everything a chamber has. They have businesses to run. And so this has enabled them to not only be involved in the chamber, but to be involved in their community and learn more about what the people within their community need. Actually, one of the wonderful things about the Chamber Mail program is that it really, I think, focuses um, in on a lost market to Chambers. Many Chambers of Commerce have changed the way they operate in the last 10 years. Chambers of Commerce are not necessarily tourism, they're not necessarily focused on the residents or that aspect of the community. They tend to be business organizations focused on what's happening legislatively, policy-wise within a community, and they're not necessarily um, affecting residents um, in, within a short reach. A long reach overall, of course, they're affecting a community. But so I think this particular program allows the businesses and their members to reconnect with the residents and the community as a whole because I think a lot of the members think about business to business, targeting certain businesses. They don't necessarily think about how they're reaching residents it just I think that's something that they take for granted and I think chambers can take it for granted and help this program helps remind us that that is a market that we need to constantly stay connected with for 2010 which my budgeting will start in November I'll be incorporating chamber mail into my budget for non dues revenue something all chambers need more of these days as we move forward at 2010 and past that, I could see that this, pro this program has a lot of potential. Um, we've already thought about some ways to expand it and to increase the volume of our members being involved, not just in the current targeted market, but expanding outside of that. So I think that it does have the potential to definitely be something that could be a terrific revenue stream for the Chamber outside of dues.
Chambers these days need to do things that are outside the box. You can't keep doing the same old, same old, or you're going to get the same results, which doesn't help your bottom line or your budget. And cha the Chamber Mail program definitely does help your bottom line and your budget.